We noted the gains as the Chief Minister had, had enumerated them in his own message. You have already accomplished a long list of achievements, starting with the approval of the Bangsamoro Transition Plan, the passage of the most important legislation, such as the Administrative Code, the Civil Service Code, the Education Code. These are cornerstones of bar moral self-governments. But nonetheless, no matter how impressive the gains that the Bangsamoro have already seen, I always think this is just the beginning. As we go on and we formalize the structure and institutionalize the functions of the Bangsamoro government, we will see that those efficiencies will come in. And what we had uh, celebrated today and at the very beginning of the existence of the BARM, that uh, what we had celebrated, will, we will now look upon as only, only a glimpse of what will happen in the future. The, the establishment of your offices, their functions, I look forward to the fulfillment of your vision to realize a united, enlightened, self-governing, peaceful, just, morally upright, and progressive Bangsamoro. As your president, I assure you, the BTA and all the Bangsamoro people of this administration's full and unwavering commitment to the peace process and to BARM. This is why we are steadfast in our commitment to the peace process here in southern Philippines. So we, are, we push for socioeconomic development, interventions to promote peace and development in areas affected by decades of conflict. Through the PAMANA program, we provide socioeconomic interventions that build a culture of peace in highly conflict-affected and vulnerable areas. The government has allocated more than 19 billion pesos for the period of 2017 to 2022 in this endeavor. And we will ensure the completion despite delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, the government, through the Department of Budget and Management, has allocated 74.4 billion pesos for the Bangsamoro region fiscal year 2023. Given these new opportunities to deliver our commitments to the people of Barm, I urge you to pass all the crucial legislations on foreign po on fiscal policy, particularly taxation, and to facilitate the conduct of the elections in the, bar, the Barm in 2025. 